Howdy, my name is Timmy here with Sirius Power PC, and today I'm going to show you guys an app that you absolutely must download on your computer. I just found out about this app about six months ago, and every computer I've had to do any amount of technical work on, I install this app on. It is super, super helpful. It saves a ton of time. It saves a lot of storage, and it can save you from potential issues with that storage, with short-term memory, with your computer's cache, and all of that. The app I'm gonna be talking about today is Revo Uninstaller. It's completely free, but they do offer a paid version. It's an awesome app. I'm gonna show you how to download it. I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to use different features in it, and how to clear apps with Revo Uninstaller. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come here to Google and search for Revo Uninstaller. It will come up and make sure you are downloading from RevoUninstaller.com. I have seen quite a few different uh, copies and scam sites trying to peddle Revo Uninstaller, but it's going to be from RevoUninstaller.com. Do not download it from anywhere else. Once you're here on Revo Uninstaller's website, you can simply come up here to downloads, and then from downloads, you can come to the Revo Uninstaller freeware. Now again, they do offer a pro version, and the pro version does have some different features that are really, really nice, as well as the Revo Uninstaller Pro Portable has a USB stick version of the software that you can download, and you can put it on unlimited computers. So the Pro and Pro Portable options are awesome. I personally have the Pro Portable option, but I used the free option for about three or four months and really, really loved it. So what you wanna do is just click here on free download. That will start it downloading. And then once you get that downloaded, go ahead and go through the standard steps of installing it. It'll install on your computer just like any other program. Once you have Revo Uninstaller installed, go ahead and click on that. That'll bring up a window that asks if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. You go ahead and click yes. And then you can see all of your installed programs here. If you don't see a particular program you're looking for here, you can click refresh and that will reload all of these programs. But we specifically want to uninstall a game for this demonstration. We're going to be uninstalling Lethal Company right here. So what you can do is select Lethal Company with left click and then right click on that and that will bring you up this list. Hit uninstall from the top of this list. I always like to check make a system restore point before uninstall. Hit continue. That's going to create the system restore point. And depending on your computer, this could take anywhere from, uh, you know, the 10 seconds that it took just then to potentially a bit longer. So as you can see, this will pull up the uninstaller. So wherever the file is for the uninstaller, for example, Lethal Company runs from Steam, it's going to pull up this Steam window here that just asks, would you like to uninstall Lethal Company? I'm going to click uninstall. And then that is going to completely uninstall it. Lethal Company is no longer installed over on my window where I keep all of my games. So now once that gets fully uninstalled, once whatever wizard that opens up is... Uh, closed and you think the program is uninstalled that program actually most likely left behind some remnants and other tiny files this can have a pretty significant impact on your cache it can also take up unnecessary unwanted storage and provide you with issues if you ever go to reinstall that so here under scanning modes i always like to go with advanced this basically makes sure that every single little file associated with the app is going to get deleted we hit scan and as you can see when we scan there are several files still left from Lethal Company. So what I like to do to make things simple, you could come in here and select each and every individual little thing, but what I'm going to do instead is just hit select all. That is not going to delete your my computer. It is just going to delete the files associated with the game or program that you're uninstalling and hit delete. Are you sure you want to delete the selected items? Yes. Now there are still some leftover files in app data for example lethal company is still there so we're gonna select all and delete again are you sure you want to delete the selected items absolutely and just like that lethal company 
is no longer there. Some other things you can do when you're inside of Revo Uninstaller is you can come here to Windows Apps, and this is really, really helpful. You can uninstall things like OneDrive or Xbox Console Companion if you don't have an Xbox. It's just really, really helpful for getting rid of apps that you don't necessarily need. Under Tools, you have a bunch of different tools here like your Browser Cleaner, the Microsoft Office Cleaner, Windows Cleaner, Evidence Remover, and Unrecoverable Delete. And then this feature is really, really cool. There's a feature called Hunter Mode that basically allows you to have this little crosshair here. You can drag this crosshair over a program and it is going to detect where that program is installed to. So let's just say for the sake of the video, I want to install Discord or uninstall Discord, right? So I'm going to take this crosshair, I'm going to hover it over Discord, and that brings up my different selections that I can do with Discord. I can uninstall it, I can stop it from starting at uh, Windows Startup, I can kill the process, kill and delete process, open the folder that it's in, search at Google for, and take a look at the property. So Hunter Tool is really, really helpful if you can't find the specific file or if it doesn't come up in the list there. To exit Hunter Mode, all you have to do is right click on the little icon and click exit. That will not bring Revo Uninstaller back up. You will have to restart it from right here, but that is how you use Hunter Mode. That's pretty much the main points of the free version of Revo Uninstaller. I will again leave a link in the description down below if you want to check out Revo Uninstaller. Anyways guys, I hope this tutorial was able to help you navigate and learn how to use Revo Uninstaller. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you visit our website at SeriousPowerPC.com, we have some Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals going on right now that can be anywhere from $50 to $200 off of our gaming PCs, as well as a free mouse and keyboard with any PC purchase over $1,000. Be sure to leave a like, that way more of our videos appear in your feed, as well as subscribing with the notification bell on, that way you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and remember to check out our Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals at SeriousPowerPC.com, or just visit us if you have any questions about your next gaming PC. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Timmy, here with SeriousPowerPC, and I'll see you guys next week.